Hey y'all, we are doing a Sunday reset today. I have a whole bunch of stuff to do on here and I think I got to about half of it. I also had to add in that I needed to clip my dog's toenails. So we're going to do that in this video too. But the first thing I'm doing is get my hair up in a ponytail. I know y'all can see my tattoos. So I figured I would share with y'all what they are. And we're going to get into cleaning the bedroom while I'll chat with y'all. This um, song I was listening to a just like a Christian playlist on Spotify so I figured I would show y'all that as well look how pretty it is outside and windows need be cleaned I finally remembered how to take the whole window off of the inside so now I need to go back through and clean them <laughs> properly anyway we're gonna have some sunlight in here so the tattoos the first tattoo I ever got was those feathers and the pink ribbon on my the like back of my neck and I got those in honor of my nanny. She passed away, I believe it was 2011. I saw her 2010 Thanksgiving, right before I had got married to my first husband and moved to Virginia. I wanted to see her because I was moving probably, well, I was 14 hours away from my family. And my family was 8 hours away from my nanny so a long drive i knew i just probably wouldn't see her for a very long time anyways she passed away from um i think the last one she had was it was in her bones but she had had breast cancer she got that removed then she got breast cancer in the other one she got that one removed then years and years went by she got lung cancer never smoked but, you know, when you're around people that do, you know. Anyways, lung cancer. Then, um, it spread, I believe it spread to her bones. Or it just started to spread to other parts of her body. And all I remember is things started to calcify. So, she passed away. She was in her early 50s, I would say. Maybe 55, but I not any older anyways i loved my nanny i love my mom but the second person that i would say that i love the most <laughs> is that awful to be like i love this person the most but like my nanny which why why not because that would be my mom's mom right so very similar anyways i love my nanny very sweet lady she worked in uh shoney's for a lot of years then she worked, I remember she worked at a gas station um, and did the food there. And then she worked at my aunt's, um, which is my mom's youngest sister. She worked at her school, her high school in the cafeteria. And that she passed away after that. So I love her. That is who that tattoo is for. It's the first tattoo I ever got. Um, in I think like 2011 is when I got it. Um, the next tattoo I had gotten as I'm picking up these dirty clothes off the floor is the blue butterflies and the black rose that y'all always see on my arm because it's so big. That one, I just knew, I, okay, TMI and also very serious note. I wanted to cover up some scars if you get my drift that I had all over my arm from when I was a teenager wink wink like you know we know we all know what we're talking about here anyways <coughs> um I meant to do it on the other arm too but it's okay one of the reasons why I want to do it is because something in me said well if I get a tattoo I'm less likely to get these new scratches if you will on my arm because I won't want to damage my tattoo. And it actually did help out a lot. I mean, so did therapy and the psychiatrist, not going to lie. But it did help out a lot. <laughs> um, so that is the reason why it's so big. It was basically like a giant pretty band-aid, you know. And it's funny because the guy that did the tattoo, at first I was like, I just want black. black. I do not want any color at all and he was like can I please do a color just 
can I do blue or purple? Like just some, some kind of color. And I said, okay, we can do blue. So I love that too, because I love blue. It's one of my favorite colors as an adult now, which is weird because when I was in high school, black was my favorite color. Um, but that could be just because I was emo and black was every emo person's favorite color. Now it's pink and blue and all the like pretty colors, but I still look good in black. Okay. And then the, um, and I just got butterflies and roses because I like butterflies and I like flowers. I'm using this Purcell, y'all. <coughs> You'll have to excuse me if you don't like people that talk a lot because once I get started, I can't stop. I told y'all what the music was going to be and you probably haven't heard a lick of it since this video started. Anyways, putting the laundry detergent in. It smells really nice. Cleaned really well. I also used OxyClean odor blasters and... Uh, because my dirty clothes have been sitting on the floor for a few days. So I thought we really need to go in on this one. And then I also used the Downy Fabric Softener. I don't always use this, but I was feeling spicy today. The third, this is going to be funny. And also an example of don't ever do this. The third tattoo I have is also the last tattoo I have on my wrist that is holding this bottle. It says forever committed. I got this right before me and my ex-husband separated. Um, I was 23 at the time, and very immature, and I thought that if I get a tattoo that says forever committed, that that would like mean that we would be together forever. No, ma'am, Miss Bam. Um, I we broke up like very soon after. I got that tattoo. So I would never get a tattoo of someone's name on your body. And if you're going to do what I did and put like a quote um, and, and you if divorce, you know, you're going to have to start saying that it's for something else. So I think it was my sister. I was like, oh, you should say like forever committed to God. And I'm thinking, okay, yeah, that works. So now it's a Jesus tattoo. <laughs> <laughs> okay, y'all. I'm going to quit talking for a minute. We're going to continue cleaning. Um, I've, I'm dancing, by the way. I'll show y'all the song. It was The Good Day, which was like super popular on Instagram Reels. Okay, Forrest Frank is his name. Such a like jolly, bouncy song. It just makes you want to dance. We have had this bed frame up for since January. So... It is time to whip out the hair roller. <laughs> Y'all know what that's called. I can't think of it right now. Lint roller. Okay. And get all the hair and lint and whatever else is cleaned onto this bed. Because I'm dusting everything else. Might as well dust this thing too. <laughs>
this was so dusty. <laughs> it feels so good to do that. And I also got the lampshades too because I noticed a hair on one of them. Y'all, I lose so much hair. I should not speak that into existence for myself. But um, it's my thyroid. So I just... Uh, it's like that, but I will say my hair grows fast, so that's the nice part about it. Um, anyway, cleaning up the mirror, I'm going to clean up the base of my fan, just getting everything clean because I have started doing a lot of home projects, and in doing that, I don't have much time to clean because I'm typically kind of wore out from doing all the other stuff that I'm like okay it's 5 p.m. let's let's settle down for the day cook dinner and just relax so normally I try to get done with work around 4 or 5 and then relax and then I picked Saturdays to film clean with me that way I can share it with y'all on Sunday so if there are a group of you out there that just take one day a week and get as much cleaning as you can um, done I'm in the same boat as you now I'm doing that exact thing <laughs> and honestly I kind of like it because to me it feels satisfying to see the mess and then it it just be like wiped away within a few hours it feels so good also I know that's not aesthetic to put like the eye drops on the nightstand but they are for Aaron and he does have to take them like every four to six hours I think so I don't mind it at all <laughs> he can put whatever on his that he wants to also I just noticed I like speaking of aesthetics I like how the books look underneath the lamp but it's not practical because they get really dusty and I don't know about y'all but I do not like reading a dusty book so I wipe them off and then I'm just putting them back in the drawer I was showing y'all the sides um a lot of them are about money and then some of them are about discipline and then one of them is just about how the brain works the reason why I had books about money is because I didn't grow up really understanding money they don't teach you about money in school um, that much and I really wanted to learn about um, you know how kind of like how to handle it and also that it's okay to have money because I did also come from a background of it at least in my brain as a young person not being able to understand what people are really saying i took things literally and felt like god didn't want me to have any money at all um and now as a like an older you know adult i realized that is not the case so it did take me having to read a couple of books outside the bible to kind of figure that out and now it's like me and god are really close and I know he wants the best for me and he does not want me to suffer <laughs> anyways I feel like some churches can like preach a lot like too much about the prosperity side of the Bible and then some churches don't preach about it enough I think it's good when you get the whole picture and not just one or the other
saying I was um I've started to just clean once a week so because I'm doing that I know things are gonna start getting dusty basically I'm going in and I'm looking at it as this is a like what are the type of things I would do in a week versus how would I clean if I cleaned every day so I do have like lots of things dust the hand towel to change out um, sheets to change which I just changed our sheets the other day because I had time um, but that's definitely something I would do like once a week water the plant do the toilet things like that I also cleaned our shower the other day so I didn't have to do that today but um, I also need to wash my washing machine because I know it is so stinky. Every time I walk by the washer and dryer, I'm like, something smells dead over here. <laughs> Y'all, I have not cleaned it in months. Um, since November, I think. So, it's definitely time to do that. So, while I was cleaning in here, and I'm using those Centiva wipes. Um, I forgot I had them. So, I was like, well, instead of using my paper towels, I will just use these. Um, <laughs> I'm getting the hair off of the bottom. Uh, I cannot stand, like, me and Aaron's sister were talking about this the other day, how they make toilets, and they're, like, not cleaning, cleaner friendly. They're so hard to clean and get all the, like, lint and stuff off. Anyways, so, Aaron took the old sink off of here, and this is the dirty stuff that was up underneath it. So, I'm using this Kaboom foamtastic on here and then I'm gonna ball up some aluminum foil and then just go to town if I um, had had the Brillo basic pads I would have used one of those or a scouring pad but if you don't have any of that and you need to clean something like this just ball up some aluminum foil and it will work wonders on these like hard stuck on things and also that cleaner worked really well. I figured if it's good enough for my toilet and my shower, it's good enough for my sink. I always knew we could do so many great things. So believe in me. I believe in you And I just feel that this will be an upswing So hear me out I know we lost our purpose Chasing all that surplus You were all that I need I feel that we can break free We can still go back there To a place with no cares We can turn this ship around We can turn this ship around Was that not so satisfying? Oh my gosh. I love, I love, love, love cleaning like that. The dirt and grime. That is my favorite type of cleaning to watch. Um, there is this lady. I think she's from, 
I don't know where she's from, but she's not in America. Um, she wears pink a lot. Anyways, she actually does the, like, free cleaning thing. And that's what I'm talking about. That type of, the level of, this is serious condition, get in and might need to wear a mask and, you know, all that stuff. And it's so awesome, too, because she's helping out people that really need it. So, yep. Um, at this angle that I have y'all at, now I know that I really need to get up under there even higher and clean because I can see where the brush is not getting and I don't like that. So now I have not moved these things in probably a month. So I'm taking all the stuff off the shelves and then I'm just going to take one of those Sentiva wipes and then I'm going to put everything back on there. The three perfumes I just showed y'all, I had up there for a couple of months. So now I just switched them out for these three. That way I will continue to put my perfumes in a rotation. That way they're all getting used and I'm not just um, emptying out three bottles and then have a bunch of full ones over in the corner somewhere else. So the bathroom is done now, but I need to vacuum and then I'm also going to mop. So let's go ahead and do that. And then we'll move on to the laundry area where I'm going to clip Chloe's toenails.
talking to each other I know we feel the same About the situation Like we're stuck inside a game Time to get out of this circle Yeah, we both carry a scar As you write the part we're playing Time to cherish who we are The only thing I ever wanted Starts with us taking the chance Not like anything we've done before Oh, oh, yeah Now it's time for something better And time for us to follow our dreams No, we can't stay no more oh. Come run away Alright, Chloe's toenails need to be clipped bad. It's probably been over a month since I have done this, so we're going to do it today. And <laughs> she, she looks so cute. Um, she's very comfortable in that. She just kind of chills. Um, I'm giving her a little treat right here. It's this Ashland Farms brand. I just take one of the nuggets and I just pinch it apart. So she rarely even eats a whole treat because she's so small. Um, she may eat just like little pinches off of it. But she's typically really good with her back legs. But for some reason she does not like people grabbing her front legs. So I'm just, and I'm calling them legs instead of paws. Anyways. I do whatever she'll let me do, and then I kind of come back to it, and then she'll, she kind of just gives in and lets me do it, but you'll see her like kind of shooing me away, but this thing that she's in is called a hammock, and these are so good if you have a dog or a cat that likes to fight you because before we got this it was almost impossible to clip her nails i would maybe get one or two and then the other ones i would just have to every day try to get one random nail because she would just wiggle all over the place um so i just do one side and then i rotate her to the other side and do the other side and this process maybe takes 10 minutes so highly recommend if you have a fussy animal this thing is awesome it's also like a kit, so it comes with everything you need. Look at this beautiful faucet. Aaron said he found it on Amazon and it is, I think he said around a hundred dollars, which is awesome because the ones we were looking at at Lowe's were like $2.99 and this one even comes with a thing for you to put your dish liquid in. So I've got the Dawn dish liquid in there. Um, yeah, this kitchen is a whopping mess. <laughs> so, um, we're going to get cleaned up. And then I will show y'all again at the end what the sink looks like because it is just so pretty and I'm very thankful for it. Um, and I figured y'all would also be just so excited and over the moon <laughs> about the new faucet because you're not going to see any more drips, y'all. I said, I still feel like weird about putting the faucet in the middle because before when we had the drip you had to either put it to the right or the left but you couldn't put it like straight in the middle where it would normally go because it dripped and you would have water everywhere so I still feel like I'm having to shift this one to the left or right because my brain hasn't it hasn't hit me yet that our faucet doesn't leak anymore and Aaron was saying aren't you so glad that you don't have to hear that tick tick <laughs> so oh my goodness that was like a birthday present that was so cool to be able to 
switch that out and it's like we had a dripping faucet for years and then it just takes one hour and then it's like it never even existed before you know like we had a dripping faucet no we didn't we did <laughs> and then i was giving y'all a look just now because i'm like wait a second we have lights underneath our cabinets now let's turn those on anyways y'all <sighs> I'm so grateful for you. I know some people throw that word around and I don't want you to feel like, oh, she's just saying that to say it. Like, if I'm saying it, I mean it. Uh, it is hard for me to express my feelings. So, it may sound like, I don't know, it may sound like I'm just being silly. But deep down, I really am, like, just in shock of how wonderful you are and watching the videos just it's really changed our lives and it is all because of you like i could post the videos but if you don't watch then nothing happens you know so everything of course like god number one but somehow y'all get sent here so you watching the videos it's just amazing because who am i <laughs> i'm just a random person like i'm not um special or anything and i think that's why it makes me so happy because it just proves that you don't have to be miss skinny mini you don't have to have botox and filler and breast implants and a bbl and a tan and look like a kardashian to have people that want to support you you can be miss kimmy in north carolina that lives in a single wide trailer and people like to relate to it and if you're out there and you want to do something like this and you are holding back because you think that, well, it, this type of stuff just doesn't happen to people like me. Well, it doesn't happen to people like me either. And it did. So I encourage you, whoever you are, whatever it is you want to do, if you want to work somewhere and you're like, well, I'll never get that job. Who says? Why are you saying no? Don't say no to yourself. If you're afraid but that someone else is going to say no to you. You know. Don't be the person that's like makes the fat joke. So that nobody else makes the fat joke. Me. I'm raising my hand. I used to do that. Anyways. Just go out there and live your dream. Do what you want to do. And I'm sure you'll be great at it.
You know that I'ma keep it cold With you I feel like breaking rules On the edge looking out with no parachute You know I'm dreaming about us too Playing around without a clue On the edge screaming out With us it's all or nothing So I didn't get to half of the things on my list, which were the rest of the house and the living room, but I still wanted to vacuum and mop. So um, I just went through the living room, vacuumed like the big traffic zones. Same thing with the hallway. I really had to vacuum my office bad because um, I had made a mess with the litter boxes when I was bringing in the new ones. Um, and I just now got to like, clean all that up i love those new ones though because they trap all of the excess litter that your cats get on their feet before they get out of the litter box so it just stays clean it's awesome um but i definitely needed to mop all the floors so i'm just going through here and mopping as well um, and then i'm going to pick up all this stuff that is in the hallway because it's been there for a while and I'm just tired of walking around it. <laughs> Sometimes you get, you just got to get tired of it. And then you know you can pick it up and put it wherever. Or sometimes it just happens to be moved to somewhere else where it's going to be temporary. <laughs> Y'all know it's because they're home projects. Okay, like our house is being lived in while also being updated at the same time. So I don't think there's ever going to be a day where it is. Just like spotless everywhere. <laughs>
I'm going to take that mop pad off and wash it and I put a new one on there for next time. Now I also got this really pretty rug in the mail and it came with the um, mat that helps it stay in place. So I'm just doing my best to line that up and then I feel it's probably easier to just kind of hold it up in the air and do it instead of laying them each down. Um, and then I'm just going to put that back down in front of the sink. It is the softest rug I have ever felt. Oh my word. And I love all the colors. It's got the colors to our kitchen. A little hint of like a mauvey pink and then the blues in there. Very pretty. And here's what it looks like true to the light. I turned my lighting down. <laughs> I always turn my lining up to make the rooms look brighter. Alright, and here is what the kitchen looks like. All cleaned up and the new faucet in. Y'all, oh, I feel so happy and thankful. Um, thanks again for being here and watching the videos. You mean the world to me. And I will see y'all back here tomorrow as long as the weather is okay i plan to be back outside and cleaning up the yard all right y'all see you next time